All right guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we learned how to draw an ellipse whenever we touched our screen with our mouse or our fingers if we are using an Android phone. In this video, we are gonna learn how to draw a line on our window. And it's not gonna be just a line, it's actually going to be like a brush functionality. So for example, if we click over here and drag our mouse across the screen, a line is gonna be drawn wherever we move our mouse. It's gonna be not exactly a line, but kind of a pattern which we draw with our mouse. And that pattern can be anything. So if you are taking a reference to MS Paint or Photoshop, you can just kind of use it as a brush. So we are going to be doing that and it's going to be done in five main steps, which I'm just going to paste over here. So first thing is we need to import our line graphics and just like we have imported color and ellipse, we also need to import this line functionality inside our Kiwi. And then we need to create a touch dictionary. So for example, if we need to store all the points where our mouse has moved, then we need something known as a touch dictionary, which is gonna store all the touches and all the X and Y coordinates of where we are moving our mouse. So first touch is known as the initial touch. So first we need to store that initial touch inside our touch dictionary. So how do you create a touch dictionary? It's basically very simple. First we are gonna write touch because we want to create a touch dictionary and inside Kiwi, you just create a dictionary by writing UD and that's it, we have created our touch dictionary. Now we need to name this touch dictionary. So we are just gonna put square brackets and in small letters, we are just gonna write line. So the name of our touch dictionary is line. And then we need to store our initial touch inside this touch dictionary. So first we are gonna create this line, just like we created our ellipse. And then we needs a parameter known as points. So basically what is the starting point and what are the other points where you want the line to be drawn. So I'm just gonna write points over here and then I'm gonna make it equal to our initial touch. That is touch.y and touch.x. So I'm gonna put another brackets over here and write touch.x comma touch.y. So this is gonna store our initial touch inside this touch dictionary. Now we need to display this touch dictionary on our canvas. So first of all, we need to remove this comma over here. It's not needed. It's just touch.y. And then to add it to our canvas, just like we did with our ellipse, we are going to write self.canvas.add. I'm going to paste it over here. And then I'm going to add this line over here inside this canvas so that it's added to our game or our window. So let me just right click on it and show it to you that it's not gonna show on the screen right now. So for example, if we click over here right now and we try to drag it, there's nothing happening. So our initial touch is getting stored and our line is being drawn, but it's inside this ellipse, so you can't really see it. And when we drag our mouse from this point to another, this on touch down stops happening and on touch move method starts activating, but we haven't created that yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another method and I'm just gonna call it on touch move method and it's gonna have the same parameters of self and touch. If you have uh, seen the Pygame series, you have already know that this on touch move activates whenever we drag our mouse across the screen, but the click is there, it's not released. Then this on touch move function is called. So what I'm gonna do is, so because we have stored our initial touch, we need to store all of the rest of the touches when we drag our mouse. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna add rest of the points or our touches inside this touch.ud dictionary. So inside that, what we are gonna do is, I'm just gonna copy this from here. So paste it over here. And then we need to add points inside this touch dictionary. So I'm just gonna write dot points. And then we need to add points inside this dictionary. So I'm just gonna write plus equals to, and then I'm gonna just add the touch inside it. And because this is a dictionary, this needs to be inside square brackets. So I'm just gonna write touch.x comma touch.y. So just to kind of give you a recap what is happening over here, let me just format this properly. And we have covered all the points, at least the first four points over here. That first is import line graphics, create a dictionary. And when the mouse is dragged to extend the line, store the next points inside the dictionary and then store it inside the canvas. So we have done all the points. So first it's gonna go over here. Whenever we click on the screen, it's gonna first of all create an ellipse and then it's gonna store the initial points inside the touch dictionary and then it's gonna add it to our canvas. And then when we drag our mouse across the screen, it's gonna call this on touch move method and then it's gonna store the rest of the points inside this touch.ud line dictionary and it's gonna automatically add it to our canvas. So these are the four steps that we have done. Let's reload it and see if it works. So now we are gonna drag our mouse and you can see that our line is being drawn. It looks pretty good. Now we are gonna to come to the fifth point that is the random color. So currently it's a little bit boring. You can see there is only red color on the screen. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna give it random color. So it can be blue or any color that is gonna be random. 
To do that, we first need to import the random library. So I'm just going to write import and then random. And then to get the random integers, we require a method. So over here, I'm just going to write color. Um, let's just say color red. So I'm just going to write color, let's say R. And then I'm going to write random dot rand int. So this is going to give us a random integer. And then we need to specify the values which we want. So we want a random integer between 0 and 255. So this is going to be our red color over here. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this over here two times more. And then instead of uh, this, I'm going to write green and then blue. And then it's going to be like what we are going to do is we are going to divide it by 255.0. So the color R is going to be divided by 255.0. And this is going to give us a random color because this value is going to be 0 and between 0 and 255. And we are changing the three random values and putting them inside this RGB. So it's going to give us random color every time we draw something on the screen. And we're going to do the similar thing with our uh, green color so I'm just going to write color which green and then also divided by 255.0 it's all the same and then the same story over here with color blue divided by 255.0 so this will give us random colors every time we activate it so now let's just try it out click on reload and see if it works so now, you, now it looks good this is a green color and when we click on it again it's light green color it's a purplish color all right so this is starting to look actually pretty good so now we have different colors every time we click on our screen so now let's try and draw like a face or something <laughs> maybe on the screen um so what we're gonna do is uh, you can end this video right now it's finished but just for fun we'll try and draw uh, like a face so it's gonna be pretty bad because i'm very bad at drawing so first we are gonna draw the smile so i'm just gonna click over here drag it over here click over here and then uh, let's draw the nose so i'm gonna just uh, maybe draw it kind of like this let's draw the maybe the eyes so the eyes are gonna be like this maybe or like this this is not looking good but <laughs> then we need to like maybe draw the ears or let's draw the face first so i'm just gonna start it with ears then draw it over here uh maybe just kind of end it over here there is only one ear so let's draw another ear it's looking so bad but you know our human is uh, human face is very weird so i'm just gonna draw the hair it's it's, it's an old guy so it's how it will have like gray hair so let me just draw some more hair make sure it's not uh, balding all right so this is our human face <laughs> all right guys this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to learn how to clear our screen and start drawing again so right now if we want to draw again on the screen we need to reload our uh, python file and then draw again but we are going to clear our screen and then just draw on it again so we are going to learn how to create a clear button in the next video i'll see you over there